What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another Pokemon VGC video. Today we're gonna to be continuing with our analysis of the new Hisuian Pokemon introduced into Pokemon Legends Arceus. Yes, there is no competitive online battling in Pokemon Legends Arceus, but we know that these Pokemon have these certain abilities and these certain moves due to data mines and the fact that they will be transferable into Pokemon Home eventually. So whether we get to use them in Generation 9 VGC or by some miracle Sword and Shield VGC, uh, you know, we just, I'm just gonna be taking a look at their movesets and judging how good I think they're gonna be in competitive in the future. But if you guys enjoyed this at point in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel and turn notifications because I bring you daily VGC content and answer my comment question of the day. What do you think about his, uh, I can't speak. I can I can never pronounce his Suian Zoroark like correctly. It's like a tongue twister. His Suian Zoroark. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. I don't know why I can't say it right, but yeah. Uh, so Zoroark is interesting in that it has the ability Illusion, and it's never been like a top tier VGC threat, but we have seen it appear on some teams occasionally, and it's it's always more of like a gimmick than anything. Uh, however, it does have something really cool that it can do, and something that I've done in the past is I will usually pair Zoroark with a ghost type that's relatively common and works well without Zoroark existing. So for example, Eevee Light Dusclops is a thing that we saw a lot. And it's a huge risk for your opponent to lead a fake out user and fake out into the Dusclops predicting it to be the Zoroark. Yes, it's like a very high risk, high reward sort of thing, but nine times out of 10, it's not really worth the initial first turn. So Zoroark can effectively like keep a focus sash on it and not have to worry about that fake out if you disguise it as the right thing. Speaking of which, I'm actually gonna be recording a test session for my Patreon uh, around a Zoroark Lunala team that I wanna try out. Like that's just, just a concept I had for it, but. You know, it's just a side note. If you want to check out the Patreon, link in the description down below. It's $1 a month. Uh, but yeah, Zorak will usually be comboed with that. Uh, it has a pretty wide move pool. One of my favorite things to run on it uh, in the past was Burning Jealousy, because what you can do is have your opponent, particularly in Dynamax formats, uh, go for like a max move into something, and then Zorak with the Focus Sash gets a free burn on, usually it'd be like a, a Cinderace with Libero turning into like a flying type, then I would burn it. That was a thing that would happen. Yeah, but beyond that, it's got a pretty wide variety of coverage, nasty plot. You can run like Flamethrower over this. Uh, it has Night Days as its signature move, and I don't think Night Days is better than Dark Pulse. Even though it's a little bit stronger, it's less accurate and has the chance to lower accuracy by one. But Dark Pulse's potential to flinch uh, for only five less uh, power and the fact that it's 100% accurate is actually really nice coming off of a base 105 speed stat Pokemon. This Pokemon also gets Taunt and just a whole bunch of other special moves. In 120 special attacks, nothing to like, you know, laugh at. I think it's actually a really solid Pokemon stat-wise, and I think it has a lot of potential and competitive, but everyone just really focuses too much on the illusion side of things. Yes, it's a big thing, but people really focus too much on that. As far as like a min-maxed Pokemon, this thing's a really nice glass cannon. So what does uh, Hisuian Zoroark bring to the table? Hisuian Zoroark, remember that thing I said about disguising as a ghost type and not having to worry about um, fake out? This is the opposite. This is the opposite. Like, you can disguise a Hisuian Zorak because it's ghost and normal type as something that does want to get faked out. So let's say you have a Whimsicott on your team. You can lead off Zorark and disguise it as a Whimsicott, and most people will fake out the Whimsicott. Most people will fake out Tornadus. Common, like, Focus Sash Pokemon will get faked out, and you can bait them into that and then get a free turn to do whatever you want with your Focus Sash Zorark since the fake out will fail on the ghost type. You can go for Shadow Ball or its new signature move. Shout out to Serebii, by the way, you guys are the best. Uh, that is a, what's it called? It's called Bitter Malice. It's 60 base power and has a chance to do Frostbite, which is a new status condition of Pokemon Legends Arceus. I don't know how they're gonna translate that into like the main series game, but I would assume it's basically just like a hex that can status something. Maybe it'll be like Paralysis. Maybe it'll be Frostbite. Maybe we'll get Frostbite in the main series games. I would love that. But yeah, that's a thing that Zora can do. It's a hex that can, you know, status sometimes. Um, so it combos into itself. Personally, I think Shadow Ball is going to be better anyways, just for the immediate damage. Uh, but you can run a lot of things. Uh, Ghost Normal means that you have the ability to run Stab Hyper Voice, which we know Zorak naturally gets already, so that's really nice. And it also will probably get like Flamethrower and a bunch of other really fun moves. Knock Off is an option, even though you only have 100 base attack. I think what's really nice about this is they min-maxed it even better. Regular Zorark had 105 base attack and 120 special attack with 105 speed. This thing took away from a little bit of its defenses, not enough to make a difference because it was already getting one shot by a lot of things, but it made it faster, it made it stronger, and it just, that's all it really needed. It's 110 base speed, meaning it's as fast as Pokemon like 
like Raichu, it's only slightly slower than the Genies at 111. So yeah, like it's it's a really solid speed tier. You're outspeeding things like uh, like what like Charizard. You're outspeeding uh, Mian Shao for one. I believe is Mian Shao 105. Yeah, Mian Shao is 105. So there's a lot of cool Pokemon that you're outspeeding naturally, uh, and that's just really awesome for it. I think that mainly it's just going to be run pretty similar to Zoroark, uh, but mostly as just like a you know, a little bit more aggressive Zoroark. You're going to be going for like immediate damage. You can go for taunts. You can go for a lot of things. U-turn's probably not going to be great. Uh, if we somehow have Dynamax still and you want to run Burning Jealousy on this thing, go ahead. It's just a generally good Pokemon. As far as damage calcs go, let me open up Picolytics and get this going. I think that some important things to take into consideration uh, are going to be just what it can hit super effectively. Uh, I guess something relevant that it could probably deal with a lot is going to be Dragapult. And I'm pretty certain that Zorark's capable of one-shotting a Dragapult. If we actually take a look at Zorark and we just adjust the stats to give it 125 special attack, right there, uh, and change it to a Ghost and Normal type, Ghost, Normal, we can actually take a look at this. So let's give it Shadow Ball, and let's give it Hyper Voice. And those are like the two main things that I want to take a look at here. So let's put it against a Dragapult. Dragapult, Picolytic uh, set, just 4 HP. Your Shadow Ball is naturally just going to one-shot it. You're running in like a timid nature. You don't even have to run like a Life Orb on this thing. But something that I think could be really cool is, let's take a look at Incineroar for something that's actually pretty bulky. Uh, I tend to, you know, look at Incineroar for a lot of calcs just because it's like the main benchmark for stuff. Let's say you run a Nasty Plot set and you get up to plus two. All of a sudden your Hyper Voice is doing 44% to an Incineroar, which is actually really good, especially for like the bulkier stuff. Uh, Lander Therian saying that's always good in VGC if it's running just like a four HP set. Your Hyper Voice is doing 81% at plus two. That's really cool. Like that's actually a really solid move that you could be running. It bypasses substitutes, which is really awesome for this thing. You can hit things behind substitutes. So let's say that you're facing down like in a restricted format. Let's say you're facing down a Zacian Crown, right? Zacian Crown, really bulky, tends to run substitute. Let's throw that in the damage calculator. Being able to hit it behind the substitute. So keep in mind, it's already taking a quarter of its health to make the substitute. Uh, you're doing at plus two, Hyper Voice is doing like 30%. That's not bad because if it, you know, if it set up the substitute for 25% of its health and then you get an extra 30% on it, that means it's already at less than half health. So that's really, really awesome. I don't know if there's much to say about Hisurian Zorak. As far as like partners go, we don't know what the next format's going to be like. Uh, but the fact that it doesn't share a dark typing means it does a lot better next to other dark types. Uh, that means you can run it next to... I mean, obviously, I think Incineroar is going to be a really big one. You obviously wouldn't disguise it as Incineroar, though, because Incineroar has an ability like Intimidate that gets activated on lead. So, you know, the fact that it's not going to show Intimidate when you lead off with your fake Incineroar is just going to be a dead giveaway. Uh, as far as good Pokemon to pretend being, like I said, it's going to be those Focus Sash users. Regieleki is a huge one. If Regieleki is legal, uh, disguising as a Regieleki could be a huge nuisance uh, for your opponent. They won't know like if it's worth it to fake out because usually Regilecki puts out such high pressure on the field because of its uh, high damage output with Transistor and the fact that it's usually running a Focus Sash means that it's like a prime fake out target. So pretending to be a Regilecki and having them waste their fake out is huge for this thing. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's also like speculative at this point that it's hard to draw any clear conclusions. I think that the main takeaway we can, you know, get from this Pokemon is it's just Zoroark 2.0 probably better. As far as nerfs from Zorark, it loses the dark typing, which means, yes, it can now be um, Prankster affected, I guess. Because Prankster moves, if you didn't know, dark types were immune to them. Uh, as far as, you know, Generation 7 and beyond, uh, you weren't able to be hit by Prankster Taunt, you weren't be able to hit by Prankster Thunderwave, nothing Prankster related affected dark types. Uh, so now that that's a thing, it's like, you know, actually going to matter. Uh, Ghost Normal, though, I think it's still like a great typing. You're immune, you're immune to Close Combat, which is huge. Close Combat's such a big move in BGC that uh, you tend to see on a lot of teams, just as like, if not on like a good fighting type, just a coverage move. Uh, you're immune to Fake Out, obviously. Uh, other major moves that you tend to see in VGC. Um, I don't know, that's that's like really it. Uh, I, th I guess you really just don't like Snarl. Like, <laughs> Normal Ghost... Uh, obviously it's going to be affected by Snarl and the fact that you're a special attacker with very bad bulk means that you're just going to be annihilated by opposing Incineroar unless you, you know, manage to get some chip damage off on it and then KO it with your Zorark. Uh, something that I really hope it gets in the future is Aura Sphere. I don't think it's gonna, 
because Aura Sphere is such like a, they're so stingy with Aura Sphere distribution. If you actually look at it, uh, Aura Sphere, like they, they only really give it to a few select Pokemon and that list is not very wide. It's like the, it's Blastoise, it's a couple of fighting types that never use it and it's like Raikou, Togekiss, and some legendaries. So if this thing were to get like a good fighting stab on it, I th or not fighting stab, fighting coverage move, it could actually deal with opposing Incineroar plus two because of that high special attack stat naturally. Like let's look at the Aura Sphere calc. Yeah, plus two Aura Sphere is gonna be doing 69 to 82%. That's not bad. I mean like that's just a little bit of chip damage and then you're fine. If you're running a life orb on this thing, it becomes a lot easier. Do 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 life orb, or is it? Yeah, Life Orb has a chance to one-shot. Obviously, if you want to get closer to guaranteeing the one-shot, you can run Modest. But I think Timid's probably going to be the go-to. Even though you're 110 speed, you want to make sure you're faster than Raichu. Um, or speed time with Raichu. You know, that thing, that, that Pokemon in mind, Raichu is actually a really cool dynamic on lead versus it. Because Raichu is one of those opposing Focus Sash Pokemon uh, that will want to be faked out. So if you're leading off with your Focus Sash Zorak versus a Raichu, uh, the fact that like they are leading a fake out user versus you could mean that they waste the fake out into the Zorark and then all of a sudden they just get hit back for massive damage and they've basically like lost their Raichu on turn one so that's really nice uh yeah I mean I, that's all I really want to say about Zorark there isn't much I can go into as far as how good it's going to be beyond this it's a very basic Pokemon to look at it doesn't have the nuance of a uh, of a Hisuian Braviary it doesn't have like the nuance of a Ursa Luna where like these guys are like completely novel things that we haven't seen before. Uh, Zorak is just like a really cool Pokemon that I think is going to be good. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this gameplay in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications, and let me know what Pokemon you want me to take a look at next as far as the new Hisuian Pokemon go. But yeah, have a nice night and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.